This is the book of Sirach, chapter 6, verse 1. Come on. Instead of a friend, become not an enemy. Come on. For thereby thou shalt inherit an ill name. Come on. Shame and reproach. Read. Even so shall a sinner that hath a double tongue. So number one, the number one thing to do is be a friend instead of an enemy. Don't look for fault with your brother. Look for a reason to love your brother, man. Look past the transgression. Um, Proverbs 17 says, get Proverbs 17 and 11. It's the glory of a man to overlook a transgression. That's your glory. Somebody disrespect you, you're glorified when you say, all right, I'm gonna let that slide, moving on, right? That's your glory. That's, that's you ascending to a higher level, man. It's the person that's dwelling on it, trying to figure out some way to get revenge. He's staying in the lowest, he's staying in his lowest self. He's in a low state. He hasn't advanced nowhere, right? It says become a friend instead of an enemy. Otherwise you'll receive an ill name. And that's not talking about an ill name amongst the people. You're gonna receive an ill name with the Lord, right? Read on. Me or me. Proverbs. Is that what it says, 1711? 1711. It says, yeah, yeah. An evil man seeketh only rebellion. Therefore, a cruel messenger shall be sent against him. Yeah, that's a good precept. That ain't what I wanted, yeah, but an I evil man seeketh only rebellion. And that cruel messenger are the evil angels, man. The most I got angels on the right-hand side and on the left-hand side. They all serve the Lord. But if he sends you one of them evil angels, they only come to destroy or, or to bring pestilence or pain. So don't seek rebellion. That's why the Bible says, instead of an enemy, be a friend. Figure out how to make peace. That's why the Bible says, blessed are the peacemakers. All the scriptures equal each other. You understand? From one, one, it just de depends on the perspective. Read it. Read that. Okay, this is, y'all gotta read loud. Proverbs chapter 17, okay. verse 17. A friend loveth at all times. Come on. And a brother is born for adversity. A friend loveth at all times. And a brother was born for adversity. How many people leave you when things get rough? How many people desert you on hard times, man? It's not reliable anymore. A friend is supposed to be reliable, somebody you can count on. Yahweh Shai, you could count on him to go through with what he was sent to do. He was sent to die for the sins of Israel. He did not renege on that, man. He was a friend to the end, dying for you so that you could get the kingdom. All you got to do is figure out how to be a loyal brother, man. Go back to Sirach chapter 6 because he's going to touch on that. Read on. Verse 2. Extol, hey, extol not thyself in the counsel of thine heat. It's like you. Extol not thyself in the counsel of thine own heart, mm -hmm. that thy soul be not torn in pieces as a bull straying alone. And that's another thing. Stop trying to get inside your own head. Get out of your own head. A lot of times we have disagreements with each other because we inside our own head. We, we, we bouncing the ideas on. We walking through the house. When I see them, this is what I'm going to say. And if they say this, this is how I'm going to respond. You know? You, you, you practicing your uh, rebuttals for your argument to come. So you're rehearsing wickedness, man. Get out of your own head. That's what that's really saying. Read on. Verse 3. Now they're going to have... Now they're going to have... Now we're teaching how to be friends and they're going to argue. Our senior men, man. Read, read. the point. Read. Thou shalt eat up thy leaves. Now you got to read loud. Thou shalt eat up thy leaves and lose thy fruit and leave thyself as a dry tree. Now remember we read earlier in Revelations 22, the leaves are for the healings of the nations. Meaning what you what you speak, how you conduct yourself, what foliage you bring out, your growth is for healing of the nations, right? Well, when you get inside your own head, you dry up those leaves. You understand? You, 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 you understand the parable? Read on. A, <clears throat> verse four. A wicked soul shall destroy him that hath it. Come on. And shall make him to be laughed to scorn of his enemies. And a wicked soul shall destroy him that hath it, man. And make him be laughed to scorn of his enemies. So we gotta change, man. We, we, we uh, as men, black men, we've developed a culture of animosity, which is cool. The more mysterious and thug I am, the cooler I am. The less friendly I am, the less open to conversation I am, the cooler I am. You understand? And our women feed into it, they, they kind of like it. Oh, he's mysterious. Oh, he ain't about no games. But really what you are is you're going away from your spirit as an Israelite. You're supposed to be a brother, man. You're supposed to be a peaceful man that people come to, you know? Here we go. You're not supposed to be uh, 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 just 
giving off that aura of anger. First five, first five. You all right? Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, don't bring that over here. All right, got it. Hey, the first five. Sweet language will multiply friends. Read again. Sweet language will multiply friends. Read it louder. Sweet language will multiply friends. Read again. Sweet language will multiply friends. Read again. Sweet language will multiply friends. Go ahead. And a fair speaking tongue will increase kind greetings. That's right, man. Look what you're saying out your mouth. Watch how you're talking to people. Stop being so um, argumentative. Stop being so confrontational all the time, right? It doesn't make you a sucker to be cool. Relax, man. Be somebody that people can talk to. Be a counselor. That's your job as an Israelite man, is to be a counselor. Sisters, that go for you too. Don't be so spicy, so surly with your speech, man. Turn the heat down on that. You know, some of your responses is too sharp for the occasion. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Like, what? Why you respond like that? I just said this. Why? You're my mate. You're Women bring gotta learn that. that. Out. Women gotta learn that. That's what they taught in this kingdom. You're that's my how mate. to, especially our women. That's how they taught how to be. Neck get to rolling, right? You see little girls be doing it. They spicy. They little. You're supposed to be a cute little baby girl. What's wrong with you? You know. That's what the Bible says. Sweet language will multiply friends. Right? Yeah. And Cardi B for the example. Read on. That's a guy. And the guy bumping that. And he look. Be in peace with many. Come on. Nevertheless, have but one counselor of a thousand. Yo, look at look, 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 look. You can't read that. Look at Jake, yo. He's gone too. He's gone. Yo, what's wrong with our men, yo? That man, oh, he that man at least 50. He's spicy? He at least 50. Hey, uh, he probably Jehovah Witness. Hey, that's your elder right there. That man at least 50 oh, years. He, <laughs> he, 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 he got his driving gloves on. <laughs> I've been listening. I was trying to get away from that Negro. I understand. I'm trying to avoid a confrontation. We understand, all right. I was listening to you already. All right, all right. Read on, read on. I'm filled with foolishness. That's right. Nonsense. All right, okay. Verse 7. Come on. If thou wouldest get a friend, prove him first. What the Bible say? If thou, thou wouldest get, get a friend, Prove him first. That's another thing. Did the Bible tell you to be stupid? Nope. It said be a friendly person, but did it say be everybody's friend? Did it say that? That's the balance, man. If you're gonna get a friend, prove him first. Because people come with a uh I say they I say when you first meet somebody, that's the representative. That's who they want you to meet. You ain't get to meet the real person until later. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, this person yeah. seems nice. Uh, this sister, man, she yeah. seems cool, man. She gotta be different than the other one. Look how cool she okay. That's the representative. Right. Let's see with time. That's why the Bible says prove him <laughs> first. first. argument, then you know what they really is. Right? <laughs> or, or you sisters, you meet these men, they dress right, smelling right, walking the right walk, but that's his representative. What right. happens when he's not in a good mood? How does he get that conduct liquor himself? In him. How does he act when he's drinking? How does he conduct himself? What happens right. when um, he is faced with adversity? What kind of person does he become? Does he curl up into a shell and become immature and disrespectful because he's going through something? Or is he mad enough to deal with it? You can't know that unless you prove somebody, right? You got to be around them. Step on the shoes. So you got to put that effort to get to know them. Read on. Step on the J's. Step on them J's. You'll find out real quick. Yeah, that's childish. Yeah. Step on my shoes, bro. I got to kill you. Man. Yeah, okay. That's death. Listen, right. if you bought a pair of shoes, if you wear a pair of shoes that if somebody step on them, you got to kill them, don't wear them shoes. <laughs> Uh -huh. They mean too much to you, bro. Uh -huh. Just hang them around your neck and walk around. Don't put them on your feet. Don't put them on your feet. Read on. I'm going to read again from the top. Come on. If thou was get a friend, prove him first. Mm -hmm. And be not hasty to credit him. And don't be hasty to credit him either. And, 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 oh, yo, I just met this new dude. He got mad bread. He get me in the club with him. That's my guy, man. He's the man. Like, why like, you don't know this dude. You only, you only chilling with him for the benefits that he offers, right? And you crediting him. And then and little do you know, he's talking about you like all types of garbage, man. Look at this dude, this cornball, yeah, floating around me, trying to be down. And you over here telling everybody you're the greatest person on earth, you know? That's my dude. Just man. be, use wisdom, man. Like, don't, don't be crediting people before you get to know them. Calm down. Some of these teachers, me, don't credit me before you get to know me. These brothers, see what we saying. Okay, we got one good lesson. But what if the other 50 lessons is off? But you telling everybody, oh man, I just found them guys. You, saw you gotta watch these guys, they know everything. <laughs> nah, man, you gotta, you gotta watch us to see if we know. You understand what I'm saying? If you get a friend, prove him first. 
Why they don't teach us this? The Bible got to teach us this. Read on. Get on Psalm 27 and 7. Verse 8. For some man is a friend for his own occasion. Certain men are friends for their own occasion. I'm only cool with you for what you can do for me. Read on. And will not abide in the day of trouble. What you look at? The fringes. Is that a ribbon on her grip? Or that's just the jacket on. I think that's just the jacket on. I was trying to... Concentrate, concentrate. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Go order, ahead. order, order. Read it again. I was looking at her jacket. Hey, read it again. All right, verse eight. For some man is a friend for his own occasion. Some man is a friend for his own occasion. How many people we know like that? They only down when it's good for them. What about when you need something? Pew. Yup. Yeah. Right. Ghost. Read on. And will not abide in yeah. the day of thy trouble. And let, let you get in some trouble. They really gone. You calling the phone, you blowing up the phone, they not answering. But this was your man. This was who you was crediting to everybody. That's my bro. That's my brody. And what happened when you hit a hard time? He disappeared on you. That's why the Bible said, if thou will get a friend, prove him first, and be not hasty to credit him. Understand that. So we gotta find a balance of being respectful to each other, speaking to each other with kind words, being polite, and the balance of, but I'm still trying to see what you're dealing with and what kind of person you are. You might be a weirdo, I don't know. No disrespect, but let's get, let's, let's, let, give me some time before we start using the same bank account. You know what I'm saying? Like, just take your time. Read on. Verse nine. And there is a friend who being turned to <laughs> enmity, enmity and strife will discover that reproach. So now there's a certain friend when you get on the outs with them, they start telling all your secrets. They start, they, they tell everybody everything negative about you from behind the scenes. Cause they mad at you today, right? Now what's the balance? Okay, it's a balance. We teach balance at Sons of Thunder, okay? Um, you need people to talk to. When you're going through a hard time, you need somebody to talk to. So you're probably gonna have to talk to them about your hard time. Say you, um, say you and your, 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 your best friend, y'all had a beef, you think he stole something from you, you think he stole something from you. You're not discovering his secrets by going to someone else and saying, listen, I think my friend stole something from me. How do I deal with this situation? Cause I'm getting mad. I think I want to fight him. I'm just mad thinking about it. I did so much for this person and they let me down. That's not discovering their secrets. That's seeking counsel. You understand? What the Bible is talking about is when they don't like you, they're going around calling you a thief. You understand the difference? It's different than me saying, yo, I think LEL stole my watch off my kitchen island. I don't know if he did it, but I think he did it. You know, and he avoided me too. He's not answering the phone. I That's did. counsel, right? That's different than me going, but that dude, LEL's a thief. Just know that. No, he's a thief. Just know that. That's that's calling, causing enmity and strife. Y'all see the balance? Because it's kind of hard to tell the difference between what you're doing there, right? It takes maturity to understand that. Go ahead. Verse 10. Again, some friend is a companion at the table. Mm -hmm. And will not continue in the day of thy affliction. Yeah, he's he's gonna eat with you, but in the day of your affliction, he's not with you. Read on. Verse eleven. But <clears throat> but in thy prosperity, he will be as thyself, and will be bold over thy servants. But in his prosperity, he'll be just like you. He'll even act like the boss of your servants. Yeah, I'm with the man. It's my guy. So you do what he says too. Yeah, yeah, he's right. But then when you hear hard times. That person, your ultimate advocate, he disappeared on you. This is why the Bible says, if thou will get a friend, prove him first. But speak politely and respectfully and learn how to deal. And this is gonna heal our nation. See that? Learning how to deal with each other. You men that don't have wives, how easy would it be to meet women if respect was the norm? Some of y'all confounded. Our women. Our young girls so in your families, y'all know what I'm talking about. They don't respond to, excuse me, sister, look beautiful, how you doing? Because they've been taught backwards. That comfortable speech, that polite language, they can't receive it. And that was destroying our nation. Esau brought that in, right? He, he brought that in. He taught you how the sassy black woman acts because he put her on TV uh. and promoted her. You understand? When we get back to our royalty, we're gonna to speak to each other the right way, man. When we see these brothers, we greet each other with a holy kiss, man. Shalom, y'all bashim, y'all shah barakatah. So off the break, we already hugged. 
first seeing each other on the scene, man. The bond is established. That's how we dealing. You understand what I'm saying? We got to get that back as a nation because, you know, these people, they know how to work together when they, they're confederate against you. Get that Psalms 83 and 1. These people, and the most I sent them as an example. They, they, they know how to work together, right? They understand how to be peaceable when it comes to destroying you. You understand what I'm saying? They can have all their cold wars all they want, but when it comes to jacking you up, they agree on that, right? Read that. It says Psalm 23 and 1. 83 and 1. 80. Oh. Bring it out. Read. This is Psalm chapter 83 and verse 1. Verse 1. Read. Alright, it's like uh, a song of Psalm of Asaph. Mm -hmm. Keep not thy silence, O God. Mm -hmm. Hold not thy peace, mm -hmm. and be not still, mm -hmm. O Most High. Come on. For though lie, uh, for though thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up thy head, they have taken crafty counsel against thy people, and consulted against thine hidden ones. They've consulted against thine hidden ones. They've come together to destroy you. You understand what I'm saying? So where's, read on. Verse four, they have said, come, let us cut them off from being a nation. They, let's look it, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. Read on. The, uh, the tabernacles of Edom. And that's the first one. Oh no, it's like it. No, get the, get the, get the yeah. good part. Read. Verse five, for they have consulted together with one consent. For they are confederate against thee. See that? So that the confederacy is in the Bible. They was confederate against us from the beginning. Well, when do we become confederate for each other? You understand that? When do we get our military back? When do we get our families back? You got a question? Okay. Because they can come together in wickedness to destroy you. But can we come together in righteousness to build ourselves up? You understand that, man? How important it is. How you doing, sister? Hey, sorry. That's all right. You all right? Y'all can listen. Come on. No, I'm just, you know. Okay, no, no, no pressure, no pressure. So now, what does that mean for you as Israelites, man? What does that mean for how you deal with each other? What is the Bible instructing you? Right now, you're looking at an army in front of you, right? According to the scriptures, ten can set a thousand to to flee in fear. So look what you have here assembled in our ranks, man. Brothers from all different tribes in order. Decent and in order, man. Brothers traveling from United States. Got the women decent and in order, man. Heads covered, dresses on, right? What does that mean? We're taking our nation back, right? So this is the beginning. This is the refreshing. This is what we've been teaching since we came out here. They try to make our message anti-white people. They are not the center of the earth. That's right. We don't give a damn. Y'all can go over there, right? This is about us, man. We have to take ourselves back as the important issue. And one of the things that's important is how to be friends with each other. That's what the Bible is teaching. How to deal with each other again. How to be respectful. How to carry on. Right, brother? You understand? Uh, it, 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 it's been deprogrammed in us to be brothers. It's a cliche. They call us brothers, but we're not brothers. Right? A nickname for a black man is a what? A brother. That's a brother. But we're not brothers. You see that? So don't let them Jedi mind trick you like that. Y'all have to take back y'all heritage, which is to be royal in the earth, man. We got something? I had Deuteronomy 28, 54. Read it. This is Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 54. This Bring is the up. ultimate curse. If the Most High lift this curse, we get the kingdom in three hours. Uh -huh. This is the ultimate curse. This is the reason we still here in captivity to this day. Read it. So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil towards his brother and toward the wife of his bosom and toward the remnant of his children which, which he shall leave. That's the ultimate curse that your eye is evil towards your own brother. No other nation has that problem, man. You understand? You have to actually get over your aversion to another black man that looks like you. When you meet him, you gotta go through that alpha man phase real quick like, don't try me, I'm not pussy, right? Excuse my language, but you know what I'm saying? We do that, I'm being real. I'm being real. That's what we do. We meet somebody we don't know, and it's awkward for a little while, because it's like, is he, tr is he trying me? Is he cool? Are we gonna have to scrap, you know? This is what black men, this is what we go, we go through phases before we even meet each other, man. We don't instantly see each other, yo, what's up, I? What's up, bro? 
I'm, I'm happy you here, cause it's, I'm surrounded by a bunch of heathens. I'm glad you here. We don't do that, man. You know who do that? The Israelites. We do that. You see what I'm saying? That's part of taking that kingdom back. Zephaniah two and one. <clears throat> this is the book of Zephaniah, chapter two, verse one. Gather yourselves together, ye. Woo. Come on. It's like, gather yourselves together. Um, Ye gather together, O nation, not desire. You gotta read that smooth, Vox. Second Maccabees 127. Read it smooth, come on. Gather yourselves together. Which is what we doing. Yea, gather together, O nation, not desire. Because we're the people that are not desired, man. It's us. So where are we gonna be in peace at? Amongst each other. That has to be sanctuary. That's why it's so important for us to come out here and push this word and create this type of gathering though. Yeah. I say that all the time. They always they always say, we don't want the women here. Get the women out of your camp. I, it's you doing war out there. Right. Why is them women out there? Yeah. And I always have to say, it's an example to show that our women can dwell together in peace, man. They not fighting, talking out their neck. They in order, chilling. It's an example that the men can be brothers. That's why we so deep out here. You understand? Because we're showing the nation we're taking this kingdom back, man. Little by little. And it starts with learning how to become friends with each other. You understand that? Uh -huh. Looking for something good to say about each other before we get on each other and disrespect each other. Being careful not to disrespect each other. When somebody disrespects you, you're man enough, that's cool, and let that slide and carry on. Royal. That's the first thing that's going to build your nation back. Go ahead. It's so 2 Maccabees chapter 1, verse 27. Read. Gather those together that are scattered from us. Deliver them that serve among the heathen. And who is that talking about, man? That's talking about us. We the ones that have been scattered, but now we found and we coming back together in groups, in masses, all over America. All right? I think they're about to film something for a movie. We, 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 we coming back together in masses, man. That's why our sons of thunder, we don't care what camp you're in. Your doctrine is not a reason for me to dislike you, okay? We're not carrying on the beefs of the elders. Don't like them because they in that camp. Don't like them because they wear them colors. No, you know, we got we got gangs in America that spot each other on site based on colors, man. And do mortal combat, put each other to death based on colors, man. So now you got, you and your brothers are adversaries, but then you got nations that are confederate against you working together to destroy you from GMO food to what they're teaching you in the schools, man. They're trying to take slavery out the schools. Uh, in Texas, they're teaching that blacks worked for low wages in a certain part of history. That's what they boiled slavery down to. They want you to forget about that, man. They've been trying to push the narrative for the longest time. You can do the same thing I can do. Stop crying. Get over it, right? Pull yourself up by your bootstraps. Pull yourself up by your bootstraps while I miseducate you, give you the worst schools, while I give you the worst supermarkets and the worst food, while I give you the worst policing and the worst police precinct, while I uh, racially profile you and destroy you in your community, while I pump crack cocaine into your neighborhoods, while I drop off crates and guns in between the buildings in your neighborhoods, and I poison your water, pull yourself up by your brute straps, nigga. And we're never gonna forget about 9-11. Right. Or or the, uh, right. you know, you know what I'm saying? Okay. And we're never going to forget the Alamo. Yeah. Alamo. But you black darky, you better forget slavery and get over that. What? What are you talking about, man? That what was my mean? family. That was my great grandfather and I love him. I don't want to forget about him. I want to forget about you. 